Um, I think the thing that's holding um, us back from hiring people from overseas really has to do with the immigration process and our current um, presidential administration and um, the ways that H-1Bs have been um, abused, I think, over time and just the fact that um, the visa process is getting harder and harder and um, they're putting more restrictions on it. So I think that's probably the number one reason that um, we haven't been you know, going going through that visa process as much or looking for it. Yeah, so many different, so many different excellent candidates have visa problems right now. So, in order to tackle those those sort of candidates and bring them on board, we have to spend so much time and money with attorneys and, and that sort of stuff. So that's I think that's one of the major issues right now in the industry. Some of the challenges that American companies have in hiring international center around. Uh, I think the value that they place on hiring people from the U.S. first, um, that's obviously any country's responsibility uh, to get their own people working. But beyond that, I think then it becomes a question of cost, uh, perceived cost, uh, and also selection of talent um, with the limited resources we have to figure that out from abroad. Skype is great, but how do we really know that those people will fit in our culture and have the skills and everything that we need? Um, and I think then the third thing that kind of limits American companies right now is trying to understand the ever-changing political climate, not only here in the US with this current administration, but globally, like we'd love to have Talent. Talent is talent. But at the end of the day, we are faced with understanding, first of all, our own economic needs, but also political needs as well. So I think those are some of the roadblocks that we face. Uh, U.S. immigration rules and visa rules. I think uh, probably a fear of red tape and uh, not understanding the process and um, not knowing that there's a pool of applicants to, to tap into uh, would be well, obviously, there's a big hurdle uh, when it comes to uh, bureaucracy on the red tape uh, involves uh, uh, difficulty and uh, probably a lot of uh, companies consider that uh, something that they cannot overcome. I think the, the thing that's holding people from hiring foreign workers is the current political climate and the amount of hoops you have to do to go through to get somebody over here? Um, I would say probably just information for one, knowledge that there are other people around in the world that are interested in coming to the United States and, and learning more about how we do things here. Um, I think, you know, probably the level of um, education and from my, my personal point of view, the level of education and experience that people that we have from around the world is generally has a better foundation. And I'm not sure that that's really communicated well to the professional organizations and groups like AIA or NCARB or, or things like that. Um, I think also, you know, companies like to hire people that are on a sort of professional track. And when other students or, or professionals come from other countries, they start at the beginning, whereas, you know, maybe American American employees start already at a point that they've been more advanced in, in procuring some of these certifications. So I think it's mostly based on knowledge and probably misunderstanding as to what is actually needed to work here.